Hello everyone and welcome back to our Wavelab video series. My name is Dom and I'm a music producer, mixing and mastering engineer based here in London. And on this video, we're going to talk about how Wavelab can help you get your music ready for iTunes, Spotify, and pretty much all the online music services out there. So first of all, let's talk about a couple of things you need to know about the mastering requirements, file formats, and loudness specifications for the biggest streaming services such as iTunes, and Spotify. Number one, file format. You need to make sure that you deliver only high quality and compressed WAV files. The most common format for these services is 44.1 kHz, 24 bit, unlike CDs where the format was 44.1, 16 bit. So keep that in mind. Wavelab offers a very high quality resampler plugin that allows you to convert your sample rate to 44.1 while retaining pristine audio quality. Wavelab also offers two different dithering algorithms that allow you to deliver your files on the desired 24-bit depth. And don't forget, if you want to quickly check the true bit depth of any file, Wavelab's Bitmeter is a great tool for that. Number two, picking and headroom. iTunes specifications are very clear. You shouldn't have inter-sample clipping on the material you submit to be released, as this might introduce distortion and artifacts after the encoding process takes place. This is true for all streaming services. You can ensure that your track meets those specifications by using some really useful tools in Wavelab. First of all, you can use the Global Analysis tool. This will analyze your file and let you know if you have any errors or inter-sample picking on your material. When you do your mastering in Wavelab, Wavelab's brick wall limiter offers protection from intersample clipping. Just remember to activate the Detect Intersample Clipping button and add the brick wall limiter as the very last plugin on your mastering chain. Another thing to remember is always to make sure you peak at minus 1 dB. This will allow the encoding algorithms from iTunes or Spotify to do their job at their best without any errors or clipping. In order to do that, you only need to set the threshold of your brick wall limiter at minus one, that's it. In Wavelab, we have the Encoder Checker plugin that basically allows you to preview your song the way it's gonna be played and encoded in iTunes or Spotify or MP3 formats. And you can choose the different formats right here. So for example, if I want to audition my song like it's going to be encoded by iTunes, I can just select this. And when I hit play, I can select the original sound, the MP3 or the iTunes and the frequency analyzer shows me exactly what's going to happen to my track right there. So this plugin gives you a very good idea of what's going to happen to your song once it gets uploaded on iTunes, for example. Number three is loudness. Some of you might know about the infamous loudness words, you might have heard of them. Whether they're over or not yet is a subject for debate, but the truth is most streaming services nowadays have loudness specifications in place. Essentially, what happens is that it doesn't matter how loud you master your track, after the encoding takes place, all songs on the platform are level adjusted to reach a target level LUFS. Without getting too technical about what LUFS integrated loudness is, what I want to show you is that Wavelab has all the tools you need to determine the LUFS loudness of your material. You can use the highly detailed loudness meter, the analysis tool to instantly check the integrated loudness of your track. And in the process tab, we have a tool that allows you to change the level of your track to reach a specific LUFS loudness value with one click. At the time of making this video, iTunes target loudness is minus 16 LUFS and Spotify's is minus 14 LUFS. Now, I would take those specifications with a grain of salt. If you feel that your material needs to be loud, then go for it. If this is a characteristic of the music genre or if it's the artistic result you're looking for. But if your song would benefit from some more dynamics, then by all means retain them as a dynamic song will sound way better than a squashed, overly compressed song just for the sake of loudness. Now, number four is metadata. Metadata is a very important aspect when mastering music for online distribution. They give your music its own unique fingerprint. Wavelab has all the facilities you need in order to add metadata to your audio file. All you need to do is go to the metadata tab, click on edit, and right here you can edit all the metadata. There's even support for iTunes lyrics and you can even add the image of your album or single. Right here you can even input your ISRC codes. 
So there you go. That's how Wavelab can help you prepare your music for iTunes, Spotify, and pretty much any online music service out there. Hope you found this video useful. Let us know in the comments down below what you'd like to see next. And until then, have fun mastering.